Hi, what's going on guys? My name is Enzo and today we are going to learn how to set up HardHard. HardHard is a development environment to compile, deploy, test and debug your Ethereum software. It helps developers manage and automate recurring tasks that are inherent to the process of developing smart contracts and decentralized apps. It even allows you to run a local Ethereum blockchain. Ready to get you set and ready for writing smart contracts? Let's dive in. We are going to start from scratch, installing everything. I have an empty directory where we will kickstart an npm project. Now that we have a package JSON, we are going to install the hard hard dependency. That's done. Now we have a node modules folder and a log file. I'm assuming you already have Node.js and Yarn installed here on your machine. If you don't have it, you can go to the official website of Node.js, download the latest version, and then install Yarn, the package manager. As always, you will find the links in the description of the video. Next, we are going to bootstrap our hat hat project. For that, we are going to execute npx hat hat and follow the installation wizard. You should choose the option that best suits you. In our case, we'll create a basic sample project. Next, we are going to hit enter a few times to confirm the default values. And after waiting for the dependencies to install, we'll be ready. You can see here on the left, the different files it has created for us. First, there is a contracts folder. This folder will contain all your smart contracts. A greater smart contract has been set up as an example, containing a basic implementation of a state variable that you can retrieve and update. Next, there is a scripts folder. The scripts folder will contain all your hat hat scripts. After bootstrapping the project, you have a sample script that allows you to deploy the example smart contract greater. We'll come back to that later. Next, there is the test folder. The test folder will contain all your test files for your smart contracts. Finally, the hat hat bootstrapper also set up a gitignore file and a readme file, as well as a config file. The config file is the root of all your hat hat configuration, where you will be able to see the hat hat tasks and your hat hat configuration like the Solidity version. Next, I'm going to show you a basic development workflow with hat hat. You can run at any point npx hat hat minus minus hell to see which commands are available to you. By default, hat hat bootstraps all these different tasks. We're going to go through the most common ones. The first one is the compile task. You can run it using npx hat hat compile. It will enable you to compile all your smart contracts and create the artifacts for them. Artifacts can be found in the artifacts folder that gets created right after running the compile task. Among other things, here's where you will find the contracts ABI that are useful for developing decentralized applications. Notice that also a cache folder has been created. This is for hard hard to compile your smart contracts faster the next time if they haven't changed. After compiling the smart contracts, let's run our test to ensure that they work as expected. You can do so by running npx hard hard test. This task will run all your test files contained in the test folder. Next, we're going to start a local Ethereum blockchain to deploy our smart contracts against. The first thing you need to do is run npx hard hard node and that will kickstart a local Ethereum blockchain. Additionally, you can see that a lot of test accounts have been printed in the terminal. You will be able to use those accounts to interact with your smart contracts deployed to your local Ethereum blockchain. Now that your local Ethereum blockchain is running, we are going to open another terminal and run the deploy script. For that, we are going to call npx hat hat run, followed by the location of your deploy script, and we are going to target our local network in localhost. After running the deploy script, you will see that the greater smart contract has been deployed to a certain address. And here on the left, you can see the logs of the deploy right after the test account. Finally, do you remember the task that we saw earlier in the hard hat config file? Let's see how to run tasks and when they are helpful. If we come back to the hard hat config file, you'll see that we have an account task defined. If you remember earlier when we run hat hat minus minus help, we had this list of available tasks. And if you look closer, you will see that the accounts task, which prints the list of accounts, is actually the one that is defined here. This means this task can be executed running npx hat hat accounts. And you will see all the different accounts just as before when we kickstarted our local Ethereum blockchain node. If you remember earlier, we run the deploy script that also looks quite similar to the task. 
Tasks and scripts are actually quite similar to each other. Whatever you can do with the first one, you can actually do it with the second one. However, there are a few things that are easier to do with tasks and some others that are easier to do with scripts. One difference that you might notice straight away is that tasks have arguments. These arguments can even be typed and named, and they are automatically parsed by hard hat. On the other hand, scripts are simple Node.js scripts, and you will need to parse the arguments yourself. Also, tasks are more deeply integrated with hard hat, and they appear, for example, when listing available tasks, and you can run them without using the run prefix. As I said before, there is no big limitation for doing something with tasks or with scripts. It's just a matter of preferences. If you want to learn more about Hat Hat, you should go to the official website, hathat.org, and read through the documentation. And that's everything I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if there is anything else you would like to learn about Hat Hat. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notification on, and hit the like button. Until the next one, keep coding, keep smiling.